So you're, you're gonna need some materials. You're gonna need a clean working space to work on. And to carve the wax, you're going to need some spatulas. You can also use those to shape the wax. You're gonna need some brushes to paint the wax. You're gonna need some wax. So there's Graftobian modeling wax and Ben Nye nose and scar wax. We prefer Ben Nye nose and scar wax. You're gonna need bloods. There's May Run Squirt Blood in Dark and May Run Squirt, Squirt Blood in Original. Yeah, we also need paints. There's some Skin Illustrator flesh tones. It gives you the flesh tones to match the wax to your skin. And we have the Skin Illustrator effects palette, which gives you all your blood tones and gory colors. There's also we also have cream paints. You can use that. That is also an option. You're also going to need some 99% isopropyl alcohol to activate the skin illustrators or any alcohol activated paints. And you're going to need Vaseline to smooth out the wax. So you're gonna start out with your wax. You're gonna open that up. We're using our Ben Nye. And then you're gonna get your spatula and you're gonna scoop out um, a good amount of wax. You don't need that much. You need, just need enough to make a small cut. We're doing a cut on the arm. And then you're going to take your wax and you're going to roll it up into like a sausage shape with your hands. And then you're going to take your little wax sausage and place it on your arm or wherever you want to make your cut. Make sure that you don't have any like moisturizer or anything on the area because then the wax won't stick. Then you're just going to smooth out the wax a little with your finger so that it sticks before you smooth it with Vaseline. It would stick better if you used Prosade or Spirit Gum but we don't have any of that. Well, we have spirit gum, but spirit gum doesn't work well on our skin. So we don't use it. And then after you get the edges down, you're going to take your Vaseline and you're gonna open it. And you're gonna take just a little bit on your finger. You don't need a lot. And then realize you put it on the wrong finger and then you're going to put it on your arm and you're going to do your best to smooth out the wax. So just continue to smooth out the wax as best as you can. That's pretty smoothed out. You can also take a tissue and kind of crumple it up. It will get rid of the shine and make it more matte because skin isn't naturally shiny like that and wax has a bit of a shine so we want to take that away and so to make the cut you're going to take your spatula you can also dip it in a bit of petroleum jelly or vaseline to make it cut more easily so you're going to take the spatula and then you're going to get just make a little outlines to make sure that you're actually cutting the wax and you're not missing it. So then once you know that you've cut it, that you've got it right, then you can just go ahead and actually make it. As you see there, I just went straight through it. I added a little curve to it so it didn't look so plain. So now we're going to pour some 99% alcohol into the Skin Illustrator Flesh Tones. We're using rice paper, natural one, and rose adjuster. And then we're going to take a flat brush and we're going to mix all of those three colors in the top. We're using a flat brush because we're going to be spraying it on to Ben's arm. And once you're happy with your mix, 
you're going to take your thumb and you're going to use this method to try and spray the color on evenly onto the area that you're working on. And you can use whatever colors you feel are needed for you to match to your skin tone. Just find whatever colors work best for you. And then you can see that sometimes things can get stuck in the wax because it's sticky. And then you're just going to try and take those out with a spatula and smooth them back down. So normally skin has some little other colors in it other than just the flesh tone. So we are taking light washes of the Rosa Duster 2 on our flat brush that we had before. So the camera cut off, but all you missed was we got aged blood and blood tone from the Skin Illustrator FX palette with a little bit of black and we mix that together to create this dark kind of aged old blood look and we put that inside of the cut we did we did add black because when it's a darker color it adds more depth to it and makes it seem more real instead of like a shallow kind of flat look we want it to have more dimension and for the blood drips it's the same mix, it's the aged blood and the blood tone without the black. We only wanted that to be on the inside to create more depth. And sometimes you have to let the paint dry and then go over it again just to make it, just to make the right amount of depth that you want. We had to go over this, I think about two times to get to the level that we really wanted. So there's the second time. Again, we're getting the same mix again. And we're just filling in the wound. And there it is. You can see <laughs> the camera fell, but you can see that it has a lot of depth in it and it definitely does not look flat or plain. It definitely has dimension. Okay, so now it's time to add blood. For the bloods, we are using our Mehron squirt bloods. And we're going to put them in the lid of our cream paints because that's what we usually put our blood in. For this, we usually use the dark one because it gives it more depth if you're trying to go for a more aged look and then we'll also use a little bit of the lighter one sometimes for other parts of it and around it so for this we usually put a glob somewhere and then we just spread it around because you don't want too much blood because then it'll drip everywhere and it won't look as realistic and then you want to use the brush to try and spread some of the blood around it and put it on those drips you made with your paints. And then you can put some blood like around the edges and some stuff like that. And then to put some blood around it, take a tissue and just dab at it in a little bit so you can spread some of the blood from the inside around so there's not a bunch on the inside. And there you go. That's our cut. And then to remove it, you just take your spatula and you scrape it off. And then you can use your 99% alcohol to get the paints and stuff off and scrub the rest of the wax off because it can leave your arm kind of sticky. So that was our video. Bye. Hope you <laughs>